Liver fluke is a small a trematode, it's a parasite that um, uses the sheep as a host but also the mud snail. The fluke life cycle is quite complicated, it involves sheep or cattle. They will lay fluke eggs in their faeces which hatch out and burrow into a mud snail. The mud snail that liver fluke lived in is very small, it's called Galba truncatula. This is an adult snail and as you can see they're very small. The fluke comes out of the mud snail and insists on the, on the grass for the sheep or cattle to eat and that continues the life cycle around. It's, it's a long time, there's at least 12 weeks with inside the sheep but it's another 8 to 10 weeks in the snail. You see a cute fluke in the back end, September, October, November time. The sheep pick up huge numbers of metasocaria off the pasture and the small immature fluke in the body of the liver will, will kill the sheep. You don't see many signs, you might see a sheep with um, anemia, but basically you find sheep dead. So for chronic fluke, you need adult fluke in the bile duct of the liver. Um, that won't be till really later on in the year, December, January, but right on through the spring. You see ill thrift, poor reproductive performance, they might be anemic, they might be slightly jaundiced, um, but basically a lot of thin sheep and potentially poke or bottle jaw, which is a swelling under the under the chin of the sheep. There are three main products that kill fluke. Now, an adulticide liver fluke, such as albendazole, will only kill these adult fluke, as we've got represented by the butter beans. Then nitroxanol and, and clisantil will kill the, the adults and the teenagers, and it's only trichobendazole that will kill all three stages of fluke. The small immatures, the later immatures, and the adult fluke. In the autumn, when you might have sheep dying of acute fluke, it's the small immatures that will kill them, and the only product that will kill those small immatures is trichobendazole. By the time we get to scanning time, we can go for a product that kills the older immatures. So in the springtime, a cheaper albendazole or oxyclozenide is appropriate because that's killing adult fluke, and we want to stop them laying eggs on the pasture for next year. We know we have trichobenzol resistance and it's increasing in the country. We often have treatment failure, it does not always mean we've got trichobenzol resistance. It's really important for farmers to actually know what is the situation on their farm. The snail is a mud snail, it eats the algae on mud. So any boggy areas of the field where there's mud is potentially a fluke habitat. There are some very simple things we can do to keep sheep away from wet areas of the farm at risk time of year. So Generally speaking, in the autumn, you particularly want to keep your lambs that are going for slaughter away from snail habitats. We don't want to be treating lambs because the appropriate drugs in the autumn have a long withdrawal time. Quarantine treatment to prevent bringing fluke on is, is more complicated than worms. We don't want to be bringing fluke onto a farm that hasn't already got fluke, in which case we have to treat them with an effective fluke before they come onto the farm. But most especially in an increasing problem is not bringing trichobenzol resistant fluke on. So this means we need to use a product that's not trichobenzol, um, give it at arrival and again six weeks later.